everyone, my name is Ms. Pajak and welcome to today's episode of My Kitchen Science Show. We are going to make two experiments that are weather themed. We are going to be starting with making a rain cloud in a jar. Percy wants to join the experiment. We are going to be starting with a rain cloud in a jar. So what you are going to need for this is a jar, mostly filled with water, some shaving cream, some blue food coloring, and I always like to have paper towel, especially when using food coloring, just in case anything spills. So you're going to start out by just adding a little bit of shaving cream to your jar. You want to make sure not to put too much, but this is going to make your cloud. There we go, we have our little cloud. And then you're going to carefully put your food coloring throughout the cloud. And as you'll see, you've got some rain coming through your jar. So I really love this experiment because it is so, so simple and so short, but it's really great for kindergartners to explore different weather, and talk about what they see in real rain clouds, what they see here, why they think it reacted this way, and you can even do it with some different colors and see if you can identify all the different colors. You can even try doing things like putting lots of shaving cream on top and see if it reacts differently. Does it work? Why not? Now that we've made our rain cloud, time to make some snow. All right, so I've set up some paper towel here um, and got my baking soda all pre-measured to make some snow. So you're going to need four cups of baking soda. That is quite a bit, so if you want to do a smaller batch, you can probably cut that in half. We're going to be experimenting with the amount of shaving cream we use anyways, so you may not need to use this much baking soda. So I'm going to dump this. I just used a Pyrex baking pan. And I put it in like this. And now this part's kind of fun. You're going to be adding your shaving cream and you're just going to add a little bit at a time mix it up and see what consistency you're getting you want to get like a snow like consistency i'm going to grab a spoon to start and then move into using my hands make sure that your hair is out of the way and then get started This experiment is super fun because, I don't know about you, but for me, um, there hasn't been a lot of snow in the area so far, so you can make little snowmen with it and lots of fun things. together because I want it to be able to make like little snowballs and snowmen. So I've made a little snowball here. You can make a little snowman. What I think is fun about this is it's, oh, it kind of crumbled. <laughs> That'll be the base of the snowman. What's cool about this is you can really experiment and talk about why the shaving cream maybe is helping it stick, why adding more is going to make it stick more, stuff like that, why molding it with your hands is going to help it um, stick in its form. There's lots of different lessons that you can actually learn from such a simple, simple experiment, um, and it's super fun. And if you're learning about weather, it's just a fun little break or just fun activity to play with some snow. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. So you definitely want to be able to feel the shaving cream more in your hands. The one before um, was a lot of baking soda, I feel like. So I'm going to try putting this here. Yeah, there you go. So you got your little snowball. 
So it uses a good amount of shaving cream. There's no uh, specific measurement, but you definitely, when you pick it up, want to feel the fluffiness of the shaving cream, kind of primarily. Um, it's, it really feels nice, so if you just want something kind of relaxing and fun that for kids, you can make a little snowman and make so many different lessons of it. Alright, so there's our little snowman and here's our snow. Um, this one was just a short one to add to our room cloud. I hope you guys enjoyed today and thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Bye.